television game shows. The all new Crosswind. <laughs> Today's special guest star from the nighttime crisis is right, Tom Kennedy. From Perfect Match, Bob Dolan. From Press Show Up, Peter Tamarkin. And from Divorce Court, Jim Beck. Today, one of your contestants can win one of these three fabulous cars and a vacation of a lifetime to Fiji on the all new Crosswind. Here to help us figure it all out is our host, Dave Ford. I don't have much to say with this panel of stars other than welcome to the show. I guarantee you it's going to be unusual and probably lots and lots of fun. Let's introduce our people, Tom Kennedy, Bob Gowen, and Rob as a contestant. We have Peter Tamark and we have Jim Peck and we have uh, Dabney as our second team. So with that, Michelle, let's get things going with the rules. You'll be given clues to words in a crossword puzzle, all of which add up to a person, place, or thing. Answering the clues correctly gives you control of the game, and the letters in these answers are worth points. Stars can help with the crossword answers, but only the contestant can solve the puzzle for bonus points. Thank you, Michelle. Let's see our first puzzle. It's a person that we are looking for, not necessarily a proper name, and our, I said, second team, really, that was only a matter of nomenclature. Watch it, David. Uh, what did he call you? <clears throat> the team of Peter, Jim, and Dabney will start out because Dabney won the flip. And with that, go ahead and pick out a number. David, I'd like to go with one across. For Peter Tamarkin, Rita Hayworth sang, put the blame on blank, boys. Oh, put the blame on uh, uh, Irving. Ike. Peter. Put the blame on, I'm going to uh, shoot myself with this. No, don't. Dabney? Well, let's go over to the uh, first team. <clears throat> Rob? I'd ahead. like one across, please. All right, one across. Same thing for Tom Kennedy. Rita ah. Hayworth saying, put the blame on blank. Put right. the blame on me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Turn all the songs over to Tom. <laughs> <laughs> when is he going to start singing? <laughs> okay, Dave, I'd like to go to two down, please. <laughs> uh, Bob going. Yes, Uncle sir. Sam's wife could never be called Blanky American. Anti American. Yes. Okay. Very hey, good. Oh. Rob. Yeah, see how that works? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for three across, please. Sailors watch for the one in the north. Um. Star. Star. Yeah. Let's go for five across, please. Lucretia Borgia, Borgia's favorite pastime, sorry. Lucretia Borgia? Favorite pastime. Her favorite pastime. Mm hmm. That's uh, stripping. That's, uh, that's selling lemonade. I have uh, no idea. Two excellent, excellent guesses. Thank you. But not uh, what we were looking for. Rob? Playing a uh, vampire. Three excellent guesses, but still, <laughs> no home run. So it's over to Dabney again. I'd like to have five across all You though. got it. Jim? Her favorite pastime, that's why she had very few friends, <laughs> was poison. <clears throat> Of course, that would be spelled right. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably their error. Yeah. It's their error. But, but these Dabby, people are wrong. Can you uh, help Jim out? I hope so. Murder? Murder! Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to give her a chance. Murder. <laughs> so, pick a word for Peter Tamarkin, Dabney. Uh, let's go with four down. <clears throat> four down. Nabokov blanked Lolita. Was this last night? <laughs> uh, uh, well, he wrote it. Well, that's exactly so what that we're would looking be good, for. Wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 It could have been right off the air. Six across or solve the overall puzzle, Dabney. Let's go with six across. Sure. How the captain refers to his ship. She. Yes. Very good. Very good. At this point, Dabney, take a look up at the board. It's all filled in. We're looking for a person. The name of that person is 
And we have a 70 point tie right now. You can gain 50 points by getting the overall solution. No idea. Over to Rob. Take a look up at the board. She wrote anti meme star. Back to Christie. No. Hey, How about, uh, guys? Rosalind Russell? No. 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 Murder, she wrote. Blonde. Angela Murder, she wrote. Murder, she wrote. Angela Lansbury. Murder, she wrote. Okay, now. Um, we have a tie of 70 points apiece. Taking a look mm. up at the puzzle, you see the murder she wrote, Mame, and Star. Of course, that all adds up to Angela Lansbury. Mm. Now, let us quickly meet our two contestants. And again, it's a toss-up, so let's meet Rob first. Rob Winninger, a grad student at UCLA. That's right, Dave. I'm uh, majoring in theater. Uh, it's for a master's in fine arts. And what I hope to do with it is... Uh, I was thinking of being a game show host one of these days in my future. You know, you know what my first clue was that you were thinking of that? When you ask somebody something and they say, that's right, Dave, and they do this, you know, immediately they're headed for the game show uh, podium. Dabney Finch. She is an equestrian. Tell us about that. Well, not, not professionally. I ride horses. That means I ride horses. Oh, that's that's my hobby. Name. I, was I you know, jump arm. over, you know, pretty good-sized jumps. How nice. And I play a little polo, and uh, I really just love that world. Mm. Well, good. Really nice to have an equestrian with us, as well as a future game show host, <laughs> and, uh, you know, in the whole shot. Well, anyway, recapping the score, 70 points apiece, and it's time for a commercial. We'll be right back. This program... Some of our departing contestants will receive Mullins Kitchen Riser Faucet, lifts and lowers for every job. You can ask your plumber about faucets from Mullen. The new paper-made metal roller pen doesn't smudge or smear like the leading rollerball pen. The new paper-made metal roller. Add a festive touch to every meal with delicious royal gelatin and puddings. Great for salads and desserts. Make every day a royal day. Okay. Welcome back. Recapping the score, 70 points for Rob, 70 points for Dabney. Got a good game going. Couldn't get much closer than that. Before we get going, of course, we want to introduce the, the Paul Bunyan of game shows himself, uh, Tom Kennedy. Nighttime Price is Right. Name that tune. You don't say, and you don't say we'll be coming back. Thanks so much for being with us, Tom. Really? And, uh, and a guy who has uh, had one heck of a good start, a good-looking guy, Bob Gowen. Started with the perfect match and is presently looking for work, and we are very <laughs> secure, very secure in the notion that he is going to get a job very, very soon. Oh. <laughs> with that, let's get going with game number two. Uh. And it's a place that we are looking for as the overall solution. Rob, we're going to start off with you. If you would, if you would uh, pick out a word. Okay, let's candidate. go with. Uh, let's try four across, please. All righty. The egghead candidate who lost to Eisenhower was Adlai who? I think Stevens. You think right, Tom. Absolutely. Well, starts with an S, so let's go with five down, please. A strategist, eh? Five down. The Lone Ranger was always on his back, Bob. Lone Ranger was always on his back. That that's uh, his horse, Silver. That is indeed oh. right. Thank you. Okay, let's try six across, please. Blank time, no C. Blank time, yeah, no. no C. Yeah. I was just going to say love, but it's not love time. It's long, long time, no C, time. you guys. Sure. I'd like to guess this place. You want to guess the overall solution? Really? I'm intrigued. This place is Treasure Island. Yeah. You know what? Gotta be. Gotta be. Um, is he right, guys? Yeah, he's yeah. right. You yeah. say he's right. I have another, uh, I, I'd like to add something. You are absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Very well done. Sure, let's take a look at the puzzle. Okay. And one down was Dude, classic, classic, two down this John, cool, as in long John <laughs> Silver, and story, obviously, Treasure Island. Now, the score is 215 points for Rob and Dabney has 70 points. Of course, as you know, Dabney, we are going to start off with you when game number three starts off, and we have a little bit of time. Any of you gentlemen want to say anything very quickly? No, we're going to let Not you just kind of die there. Thank you. <laughs> no. Thanks anyways, though. Yeah. Yeah. The reason yeah. that I said that, just a little bit, uh, I am in front of my colleagues here, the, some spectacular game show hosts, and 
Off stage, what you folks at home don't see is I'm getting this from our floor director, Sean, who, which means stretch. And you, but uh, I don't have a thing to say. What we're going to do is go ahead. You're on your own there, Dave. Yeah, go for it. You're you go for it. Have a big guy, relax, guys. And uh, hey, you know what? Here, here's what, you what we're going to do. Big guy. I thought. Let's go to a commercial message. No, we'll we right can't yet, David. <laughs> Young Looking Lips, the young edition for men, for women. A totally new kind of musk, sophisticated, subtle, and yet sexy. Nordic Wear's Micro Go Round automatically rotates food in your microwave oven to eliminate hot and cold spots and ensure goodness you can taste. Microwave with confidence with your Nordic Wear Micro Go Round. Put the great taste of chocolate in your chocolate chip cookies with Hershey Semi-Sweet Chips. Milk chocolate chips or mini chips from Hershey. Welcome back to our show. It is, uh, we have changed the name in your absence. It is now called Anything Can Happen, and boy, do we ever mean that. Before we get going with our two people, Peter Tamarkin and Jim Peck, our two stars, we want to recap the score. 215 points for Rob. Dabney, we'll start off with you. You've got 70 points as of now. We're going to kick off game three with you. First, Peter Tamarkin, press your luck. You uh, are a very very competent gentleman in front of the camera. You have a history in back of the camera, do you not? Yep. Prior to game shows. Tell right. us about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad. If this is a standoff, I can be as quiet as you can. I guarantee you, let's have a stare down. Well, let me do this. Uh, Peter was a very accomplished uh, TV commercial director. Uh, worked as an editor on Women's Wear Daily and Business Week, mm -hmm. creative director of ad agencies, and, uh, also, uh, <laughs> and that's the end of his resume. Thank that's, you. Uh, that's it. Do you, but have, a, do you have the toll-free number they can call? <laughs> <laughs> if you knew what a profound pleasure it was to have you on this show, Peter Tamarkin, uh, you would uh, you'd be amazed. <laughs> Sliding over to Jim Pack, who's uh, hopefully going to be a little more supportive of his old friend Dave, uh, says here, you're a, si <laughs> you're a single father. What was your most difficult moment in raising your son? Boy, that's hard to say, David. I, I guess they all were. I can't do that. Uh, actually, I, I had moved to Washington, D.C., uh, uh, yes, two weeks. <laughs> this is my chance. I figured if I got yours cut short, I could talk. Now, I got two weeks after I moved to Washington with my son, uh, who was seven at the time, I was doing a live interview show at 9.30 in the morning. And I got my son up to go to school, fix his little breakfast, and send him off into the howling cold. And he had chicken pox. And if you've ever gone down a street, knocking on doors, literally, asking if anyone would mind babysitting a youngster with chicken pox. <laughs> you find out who your friends are. <laughs> what can I suggest? Something? Certainly. Don't ever call on Tamarkin. Uh, he's uh, not that helpful a guy. Right about that. Thank you for that story, and we will now move on with game number three after that painful interview. <laughs> it is a thing that we are looking for as the overall solution, and Dabney, you have the pleasure of working with these two fine young gentlemen. <laughs> Why don't you pick out a letter, and keep the glasses on, Dabney. You oh, keep no, pulling no, them on no. and off. I don't, be, uh, I don't be yourself. Them on. Uh, that, myself is without them, actually. You look like a million so bucks, with or without. I just can't Thank you. How about, uh, David, let's go with five across. You got it. This describes a rabbit's foot, Peter. Ah, a rabbit's foot. This would describe a rabbit's foot. This is how, what you are today having us with you. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, yeah. really, that's how I thought, but, uh, but that's not, not what we're looking for. So, yeah, Dabney, close fill to it, no cigar. Fill it in. It's uh, just the foot? Could you repeat This it, describes a rabbit's foot. Here. <laughs> with less than two minutes to go, Rob. Okay, Pick out a number. Five across, please. Yes, sir. Same question for uh, Bob Bowen. I... Boy, I hope I'm right. I think it's charm. I stop referring to yourself and give us the answer. <laughs> no. Ch Rob? Ooh, that's what I was going to say, too. Charm? Um, uh, 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 hair. Dabney, you've got another shot at it. Very quickly. Pick out another number. Let's go with four across. All right. Grin and blanket. Jim. Well, thanks a lot, David. Uh... 
Grin and Barrett. Barrett, yes. Mm -hmm. Less than a minute, Dabney. Yeah. Less than a minute, Dabney. Okay, let's go with three down, please. Okay. Mork and Garp. Peter. Mork uh, and Garp. Robot or uh, yeah. Mork and Garp? Outer, uh, uh, Dabney? Mork and Garp. Uh, Rob. Uh, three down, please. Same question for Tom Kennedy. What is his name? Williams. What's his first name? Yeah, his name is... Uh, Come on. Uh, Williams. Mark and Mindy. Williams. I can't think of his name. His name is Robin. Yeah. As in Rob. Robin. Sure. Okay. Good. Tom got you going and he took it home. Ooh. Two across the well. At this point, we... Uh, we are out of time, Rob. So as it stands right now, you have 240 points. 90 points belong to Dabney. What's the overall solution on that very slim evidence? The, the forest. Thing. The forest? Oh, no. No, it's not the forest. Dabney, you got any ideas? <laughs> Too thin to guess. Anybody have any ideas? Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, yeah nice nice job, Bob. It is. It's Winnie good. the Pooh, as a matter of fact, the overall solution. Take a look at the puzzle. That's good Latin bookie read. And uh, Christopher, <laughs> Christopher Friendly and Furry all add up to Winnie the Pooh. That was the last book you read. Uh, no, that's not true. Rob, you're our winner. Congratulations. Hey, hey. Yeah. Thank you. Gabby, we had fun. I hope you had as much fun as I we did. did. And we are sending you home fun. with a blessing and our thanks, as well as some partying, Party. lovely partying yes. gifts. Thanks for being with us. Thank Have a you safe very ride much. home. Okay, Rob, be thinking about who you're going to go into the crossfire round with. We're going to a commercial. We'll be right back. Middlefield cheese is a natural... Rob, congratulations. You're our winner. You have chosen Peter Tamarkin, and a very funny guy and a very capable guy to go into the crossfire round with you. And if you guys win, then, Michelle, we're going to send him to some place that um, it's hard to believe how nice it is. That's right, David. A trip from Los Angeles to beautiful Fiji. A South Pacific green vacation for two is your flight of the Enchanted Island of Fiji. Enjoy the comfort and service of Continental Airlines Pacific Flight. You'll stay one week at the beautiful Hyatt Regency Hotel, enjoying the fine resort accommodations and located on the Coral Coast at Korolevu, just a few steps from the waters of the Blue Pacific. Thank you, Michelle. Also, there is an automobile involved, Rob, and Michelle will describe one of them to you. Yes, David, it could be the Chevrolet Cavalier RS sedan. It includes four-speed manual transmission, AM radio, power steering, vital bucket seats, and other features furnished by Saab Chevrolet. Right. Thank you, Michelle. Take a look up at the board, you guys. We've got 10 words up there, 60 seconds to get them. Good luck to both of you. Go ahead and yell out a number, too. Hey, one across, please. Okay, Australian weapon that comes back. Boomerang. Yes. Boomerang. Two down, please. Perform surgery. Operate. Operate. Three down, please. Foul smelling and harmful. Uh, na na nausea. Nox. Uh, uh, five pass. Five across, please. A small hotel. In. Yes. Um, uh, nine across, please. Selected. Chosen. Chosen. Yes. Chosen. Seven down, please. A sound that repeats. Echo. Yes. Echo. Great. Eight down, please. Tiny winged insect. Matt. Yes. Uh, six down, please. A male deer. Uh, buck. No, it's a, yeah, buck. A buck. Buy another one. No, All right, deer, ten across, no, please. Deer. Pass. Hey, ten across. A fern-covered cave. Fern-covered cave. Uh, grotto. Yes. Grotto. Four across, please. Paving material. Tar. Yes. Uh, six down, please. A male deer. Uh, Stang. Yes. Stag. 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 Yes. No, three down, please. Foul smelling and harmful. Noxic nausea. Um, oh, oh, this is horrible. Uh, Nauseous. Oh, nasty. Nasty. Peter no. Tamarkin had it. Noxious. It was yeah. nasty. You said, you said noxious, noxious. Noxious. You didn't say noxious. Uh, I didn't say cock oh, either, but that's God, I, there. I can't believe you. <laughs> you, got, you got grotto, which amazed me. I didn't... Uh, Why I did never, it amaze you, David? Well, because I never have heard of a grotto before, but uh, you got grotto. It's amazing that you did that uh. well. Hey, oh, gosh. We well, well, this is one of these painful moments well. in TV, Rob, where I have to say you didn't get the trip, but, you do, but here's the nice part about it. You got something much better than that trip. 
Michelle, that's, that's right. true, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a day you may never forget. An adventure, adventure for two to the Grand Canyon. You may enjoy spectacular scenery and professional service of Air LA as you fly to one of nature's seven wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon, furnished by Air LA. And this color television, Zenith Staley Elegant Remote Control 19-inch color TV, features contemporary vertical space-saving design and front-firing quality speakers, furnished by Zenith. Plus, these smart-looking watches, Daniel Mink's Club Watches, this ladies' and gentlemen's matched watches featuring Swiss quartz movement and mineral crystal designed for active people. And thank you, Michelle. Very quickly, Jim Peck just offered this. He said, the reason that the Grand Can Canyon trip is better than the Fiji trip, Rob, is because Michelle goes with you. Uh -huh. so, Good point, Jim. Be no, I'm just kidding about that, of course. Congratulations yeah. on the trip. It was fun having you on the show. Wow, you did a good, good job. Thank you Peter, thank you so much. Thank you, dude. Terrific. You guys, let's do this again sometime. Look at that I know we will. Hey. Thank you, stars, <laughs> very much. I'm David Sparks. See you next time on Crosswoods. Bye-bye. WBNX coverage of local high school basketball begins this week when Barberton, Kenton McKinley, Maslin, and Stowe join the Kenmore Cardinals for a Class AAA preview Saturday morning at 10 here on TV 55. Thank you.